Hello and welcome to Storytime with Tyler. Today, we are going to be talking about buses, more specifically, school buses. Now, everyone knows these big yellow beasts that have waited on us at one point or another in our lifetime, whether it be on the cold winter mornings that are dark and dreary, or the relief-filled afternoons that are sunny and bright. That's where this story takes place, ladies and gentlemen. It takes place on a hot, sunny August afternoon, right out of school, the sun beating down, its death laser self beating down upon us poor students. And it's the first few weeks of school, which means every single person who can ride a bus will be doing so. And that does not bode well for the likes of me. So, I want you to imagine it, alright? Big yellow bus. Took about five minutes to find the thing, because they always park in, the, in a different place. And we're piling onto it, and there's so many students on this bus. There are so many people on this bus. And it's like this every single year. But... There's so many people that the leather seats, they're designed to hold two people, are now holding three and four. Now, that shouldn't be possible, but it was. And unfortunately, there is a luck-based system involved here. So if you're by the window in this scenario, you are the golden chosen one that will be perfect the entire ride. Sure, you're going to be a little squished, but it's not as bad as the middle seat. The middle seat is full squish, and they don't even get the view, all right? They don't even get the view out the window, you know? They don't even get to lay their head on the window and forget their troubles and ignore everything else. They have to be squished in the center like peanut butter and jelly between two slices of bread. Now, the person on the outside, the third person, that person is not the chosen one and they are not the middle person and they're wishing they were the middle person because the person on the outside has to hold on for their life okay because there's not enough room on these leather seats that are already hot to the touch because it's so hot in summertime and it boils your skin to touch them i mean the bus is literally made out of tin it's like a oven in this thing and right so the person on the outside they have to have one butt cheek on the seat, and the rest of them is hanging off the side, all right? They're just holding on for dear life, getting third-degree burns from the backrest in front of them. And it is an absolutely horrible experience. Now, I say that. Like, I know what it's like, and I do know what it's like, because th that was me 700 times out of 10. But most of the time, I got lucky, and I only had to sit there like that for a small amount of time. Because the first stop would come, and like three people would get off at once, which means a whole seat was empty, and I would run to it like a stinking wild animal to get freedom. Okay, but this story does not end that way because almost nobody got off this entire time, right? So every time we would pull up to a stop, one person would get off and it would always be someone on the outside like me. And here's the bad part. My stop was the last stop, the very last stop. So that's that's what really sucks here because I had to wait out the entire 50 plus students that were piled into this bus like a clown car anyway like i said it's hot it's very hot bus oven uh hot leather seats and i'm sitting there one butt cheek on the seat the rest of me not on the seat i got one foot planted into the tin floor i'm making a dent in it and i'm holding on for dear life as this bus driver takes wide turns and I have to stop myself from falling in the floor. Unfortunately, 
though that is not always easy, okay? Because sometimes gravity is not with you, and you will fall anyway, and I did. And I fell out of the seat. And... Alright, listen, I've already said this, but I'll say it again. Hot summer day in August. I have a big backpack on, all right, filled with bull crap that I'm probably never going to use again. Hot oven like bus, boiling skin from the leather seats beneath me and in front of me that I'm holding on to, squeezing with dear life, literally squeezing the life out of the seat in front of me. Two people next to me, both. Both are also in pain, but they don't know my pain, okay? They, they cannot compare to my pain. For I am holding on for dear life. Teeth grinding with the gears inside of the engine as the bus takes a huge wide turn. And I fall. My hand slips. My one butt cheek gives up on life. And it just slides. And I end up falling out of the seat and onto the tin floor. Now, I wish that's where that ended, and I wish that's all the embarrassment that I had, but I told you it was a hot summer day in the middle of August, and let me tell you, heat and me do not mix, okay? Heat and me do not mix. When I get, when it gets too hot, I get sick. So when I hit that floor, I let out a mean one, okay? I'm talking about a Grinch-level fart, okay, people? I'm talking about the biggest, meanest of farts. Came out, came out. And it was the most horrible thing. Because I'm sitting, I, I, I fell, and I'm sitting on the floor of a tin bus when it happens. And I, when it comes out, it's like, pfft, right? Normally, pfft, would be not that bad because the school bus is loud. All these people are talking. They're not going to hear it. But because I fell on the tin floor, that <clears throat> turned into an air horn. And every single voice on that bus stopped at once. And every head, including the bus drivers, looked back. And saw me on the floor and they heard the air horn Grinch like fart and I was embarrassed because like I said it was a hot summer day in the middle of August 50 plus students on a bus like a clown car only one or two was getting off at a time so there was a lot of witnesses and I got up and I got back on the seat. And the rest of the bus ride was filled with even more agony than it already was. <laughs>